Hi everyone, we are from the Department of Textile and Apparel Engineering. Our presentation is based on the development of a cooling panel for personal cooling garments. This presentation is structured according to the introduction, aims and objectives, methodology, and finally presenting the results along with the possible future improvements. The increment in temperature has become a threat with global warming. As stated by the WMO, over the past four consecutive years, the temperature has increased by one degree Celsius. Also, as shown in the figure one, the WHO states that the infiltrated illnesses have shown a rapid increasing trend, which is also expected to increase in the upcoming years. This makes it very clear that there's a requirement of a personal cooling system in clothing, which are now even available in the market for specific applications. The cooling techniques used for these applications are generally focused on personal protection rather than thermal comfort. So looking at the amount of research that has been carried out on this area, it was evident that there was no proper analysis made on the thermal comfort of individuals in Sri Lanka and on the parameters affecting the requirement of a personal cooling system. In order to cater this requirement, our research aims to design and develop cooling panels for the personal cooling garments. In achieving this, we have initially identified the cooling techniques, thereafter we focused on mathematical modeling and simulation, and finally the preparation and validation of the prototype. We started off this research by initially conducting a survey with the general public of Sri Lanka, where we designed it according to the ASHRAE 55 standard. This was prepared with 19 questions under three sections as shown. The response obtained was statistically analyzed with the status condi conditions. As the next step, we conducted a literature review and analyzed the existing cooling techniques through which we have deduced these three techniques, considering the requirements related to the PCGs as listed here. Our next focus was given to the, the mathematical modeling of the selected cooling techniques to find the best technique for the combined techniques. As shown in the figures, the models were created considering the elemental repeat structure from each technique. Here, certain assumptions were made to ease the calculations where the heat transfer was considered as one-dimensional. The principle of heat transfer found in PCMs was heat absorption to change its phase, while in evaporative cooling, the water absorbed energy to evaporate. In contrast, the Peltier cooling method, the Peltier acted as a heat pump to pump the heat to the external environment. We have done mathematical modeling and 1D heat transfer. In addition to further validation of the results, 3D simulations are done using ANSYS, which are close to the actual scenario, with the boundary conditions as shown here and with the same material properties. As shown in the table, the proposed materials for the PCM were selected based on the boundary conditions discussed in the previous slide. Accordingly, nonadecane, icosane, and PEG-1000 were selected as the active material to suit the Sri Lankan context, along with the melamine formaldehyde for the shell. The macrocapsule preparation was done using in-situ polymerization method. Talking about the parity mentioned here, under the brand Liar Technologies Ultratech was selected considering its suitability due to its flexible nature and its highest coefficient of performance. Nevertheless, the imposed import restrictions due to the pandemic situation was a burden for us to get the proposed materials. However, the project was carried out using the best possible materials in the country according to its availability, such that it verifies and proves our hypothesis on the personal cooling solution. The capsules were prepared using PG4000 as the active core material and sodium alginate together with calcium chloride as a shell material using the in-situ polymerization technique. Here, the mixture of PG4000 together with sodium alginate was added dropwise to the calcium chloride solution by varying the concentration as shown in the table one. The macro capsules were formed instantly, thereafter washed, filtered, and dried to obtain the final products. The cooling insert was prepared by placing the pelletiers close to the neck area to remove more heat from the body. The macro capsules were placed to the compartments as shown in 7.1. The garment was planned to be made such that this cooling insert can be enclosed in the garment while having the flexibility of removing them during laundering purposes. Thus, a zipper was attached internally to the back panel as shown in the figure below. The open source software, Valentine and Tape, was used to get the patterns required for the garment preparation. The different characterization techniques were used to evaluate the macro capsules. Accordingly, SCM studies were done to obtain the morphology and the TG to analyze the percentage of each material component. The FKR was used to check the availability of starting materials. Alongside to these characterization techniques, the temperature difference across the Peltier was also mapped using a digital sensor using the Arduino circuit. Coming to the results section, initially discussing about the results of the survey that we have conducted, the analysis showed that 87% of them were thermally uncomfortable and this discomfort was mainly for about three hour duration. And also it was evident that even though the people were wearing relaxed clothing, around 60% still felt uncomfortable while 92% of them requires and ready to accept these products. Evaluating each of these cooling techniques, here we see in the below table that 46 PCM capsules could provide a two hours cooling, while under the evaporation cooling technique could provide a cooling for 36 minutes by simply using 20 milliliters of water. 
in comparison to the above two cooling peltier cooling could technique could provide a continuous cooling which unfortunately had its own limitation however looking at the problem in a different angle we could analyze and find that the combination of pcm together with the peltier provided the best combined cooling solution also we have done 3d simulations using and just to improve by getting one more step close to the reality the pcm model cut to the section plane as shown here which is in the transient thermal state has confirmed the results that we have carried out numerically under these physical boundary conditions shown here the macro capsules were formed by using drop wise addition of the active core material and shell material using a syringe to the calcium chloride bath the low concentration of the shell material resulted in proper shell formation while higher amounts increased moisture absorption upon drying the capsules finally the analysis represented in the table was made made the color depth shows the amount of swelling observed visually it was seen that sample 4 had high swelling under all types of drying due to the high concentration of sodium imaginate the hybrid drying method showed comparatively better results while sample 1 and 2 proved to be more stable for analyzing the two samples sample 1 and 2 as shown in this scm images here we can see that the sample 2 comparatively has a higher core content while the material combination was used was 1 grams of sodium alginate with 6 grams of pg4000 as shown in the table the calculations using images of data showed that the produced capsules were of an average of diameter 3.6 mm also the shell was found to be a bit lower than the expected with a value of 0.6 mm on average in the fdr graph shown in the left we can see the macro capsule is represented in blue color the graph indicates the main peaks in seen pg4000 and alginate at wavelengths around 3350 1960 1120 are also clearly visible furthermore it is also clearly indicated in the thermogram the different weight percentages of each component in approximately 50 mg of the tested sample this showed that the capsules contain percentages as indicated with 61.9% of the core material The response of the peltier was evaluated using the by providing a three volt using a DC power pack and could observe that there is a quick response rate by the cold side reached twenty seven degrees Celsius in just fifty seconds, while the ambient conditions were at around thirty one degrees Celsius. This variation was tracked using digital sensor and Arduino board. Using the software's warranty and tape, the patterns were created to fit the medium sized person. The garment was created using the developed patterns. Two cooling inserts were made to fit on the garment, while laminates. Six, which laminates six peltier modules powered by two rechargeable batteries, having the PCM as a heatsink. Also, a switch was used to on and off the circuit. These inserts are designed to provide maximum flexibility to the garment while providing the ease of washability by simply removing the inserts. Upon completion of the garment, as there was no problem upon safety, voluntary wear trials were performed with four test subjects. A Likert scale of one to five was used to get the feedback. The cooling sensation values in the long run was comparatively low, but however, high immediate cooling was observed. The test subjects were satisfied with the comfortability and the flexibility of the garment. The general feedback was that initially the cooling rate was good and that they felt very quickly upon switching it on. The main reason for not having longer cooling effect is because we have used substitute materials for the PCM which did not function as a proper heat sink, and also the voltage drop of the batteries might have caused the drop in the cooling efficiencies. Thus, it is showed that if the proper materials were used, the cooling sensation would be as expected. Coming to the conclusion from the survey that we have conducted, it was found that 87% of them feels thermally uncomfortable, with 92% of the respondents showing the need for a PCG. The results obtained from the numerical calculations provide that the quick and continuous cooling can be obtained from Peltier, and also 46 macro capsules of PCM can provide two hours of cooling. The 3D simulations confirm the results obtained from even the 1D calculations, which further validates it. In the experimental procedure conducted, it can be concluded that the macro capsule cannot be prepared with lower stirring speeds. Furthermore, the material and methods such as the shape of the nozzle used, the ejection rate, the drying condition have an influence on the macro capsule formation. PCG's cooling effectiveness highly depends on the how much of the heat that it can remove from the ambient environment. Thus, the heat sinks used also have an impact on the heat removal by the complete system. We strongly believe that the same arrangement of the, the suggested material can be used for the alternate heating and cooling purposes by only changing the direction of the current flow. It is also possible to have a self-adjustable degree of cooling for individuals with electronic integration, replacing the requirement of centralized air cooling systems while having the control through smartphones. This marks the end of our presentation, and thank you very much for all of your time.